For all the public scrutiny heaped on tech companies in recent years, few people know how Facebook really works. Certainly not lawmakers and, sometimes, not even Facebook itself. The company that shapes the informational diet and worldviews of billions of people is a behemoth of growing complexity. A network of automated systems and carefully constructed algorithms that exist behind a scrim of corporate secrecy. The average observer tends to glimpse Facebook piecemeal. Finding a privacy scandal here. Intrusive advertising there. Perhaps some hate speech in the timeline. All of it forming an incomplete mental image of how the platform operates and why users see what they see. Broken code. Inside Facebook and the fight to expose its harmful secrets, the new book by Wall Street Journal reporter Jeff Horwitz, tries to give us the whole elephant. An extension of the Facebook files, a series of prize-winning articles that Horwitz and his colleagues based on more than 20,000 screenshots of Facebook documents from Francis Haugen, who worked as a product manager at Facebook before becoming disillusioned, Broken Code, offers a comprehensive, briskly reported examination of key systems governing the platform and their many failings. Combining Haugen's access to original sources with interviews with Facebook insiders, Horwitz sets out to demonstrate that Facebook is perhaps less deliberately malevolent and more casually destructive than previously thought, rending the social fabric, funneling its customers into extremist groups, catalyzing political polarization, flooding the infoscape with disinformation and providing tools that inadvertently facilitate human trafficking and other varieties of exploitation and fraud. According to Horwitz, Facebook has long known what's wrong with its platform. The company employs a boatload of researchers, but it would rather not know, so reports and memos sometimes get buried. As Horwitz chronicles, a reporting system might be redesigned to simply produce fewer user reports. A request to tweak an algorithm that would reduce the spread of fake news was approved, but Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg ordered that its impact should be reduced 80%, lest it affect growth or anger power users. Zuckerberg then told the manager who proposed the change, don't bring me something like this again. Efforts to engineer growth had inadvertently rewarded political zealotry, Horwitz writes. And the company knew far more about the negative effects of social media usage than it let on. In Horwitz's telling, Facebook's leadership suffered from the egoism of the mission-driven corporation, believing that it could do little wrong and that the success of the platform was an inherent good. They were, after all, linking the globe. Their ambitions were utopian, and deeply lucrative. They had never considered the possibility that it could do harm on the same scale, Horwitz writes. By the 2016 U.S.